got Rohith here playing the Cog Cross. So contrary to what a lot of people think, it's not as bad. So Rohith, how are you doing this? Is it like a pad? Is it like yeah, a... Yeah, I mean, so there's, there's, there's three sections, right? There's the combination, the program, and the sequence. And so the combination, well, you get all these little different presets. And... Ah. Oh, that sounds good. And I can kind of do that with anything, right? So I can go into, go into like an organ, like a little... Yeah, let's do this right here. <laughs> select the sounds you want to combi? So yeah, there's, that, there's the preset here. Okay. So there's the bird rock groove. Okay, right? So each, each kind of sound has its default mm. preset. like the fingered on the other keyboards. Yeah. Ah. There's a lot of stuff. I'm sure like in the string stuff you'll, you'll have some interesting combos. Mm. Sounds good. Let's try some, some like synth leads and see what they got here. And is it, is it marketed as a synth? Or as a stage Market keyboard. As an arranger that could probably double more as a, as a stage keyboard. I mean, they, they try to really sell it on the sounds as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the demo. Is it a heavy keyboard to carry? Uh, it's not the heaviest. Oh, well, that's I, I, would, I would say it's on the lighter side. Maybe 20, 20 pounds. Something like that. It's actually not heavy at all. No. Yeah. Wow. You could have one person to definitely carry that in most situations. And then... Nice. Well, thanks for the demo. And uh, Rohith and I have been here trying to figure out the sequence. Uh, the sequence, though, because, you know, contrary to what a lot of, a lot of people think, I will take the Mr. Cog name because a, a lot of people, they they haven't really seen me play with the Cog Trident. I, I really know the Cog Trident, the M1, the O1W, that whole family of stuff, know it really well. So when it came to this one, it was a little bit tricky to find the right sequencing approach because the screen is so tiny. It's got a tiny little screen. Take a look, the screen is so tiny. And um, a lot of people have been lost regarding how to sequence on this. So what I realized is if I followed the O1W M1 Trident approach, which is just go to sequence and everything will be okay. <laughs> it actually worked, it worked. Now, I am gonna be moving the camera around quite a bit because There are a lot of moving parts here, and unfortunately, it's not a color screen like the PA5X or the Nautilus. It's kind of tricky. 
I might be able to turn down the light intensity. That could be another, <laughs> an entirely different project. Ro, do you know how to do that? Do you know how to turn down the light intensity of the thing? Ah, uh, I think it's in general settings. So, I can remember the key combo to get over there. Yeah, it's because it's quite bright at the moment. If one could just yeah. turn it, dial it down a little bit, that would be cool. All right, LCD contrast. Yeah, we I'm got not it. quite seeing the difference there, but we have to hit enter. So, to... Yeah, so, oh, how bizarre. Okay, so <laughs> then there's the brightness. So that's the logo light, um, the, the Korg logo on the back of here, I think. Oh, exactly. how fancy, okay. So this is very strange. Um, so it's all the way on a minus... Oh, I see. It's pretty... Uh, so it's the contrast. I see. That's better. Okay. I think it's showing now. Yeah. There yeah. Go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you have it, my friends. A lot of uh, parameters to to work with. But... Um, and then the brightness. Let's see. Ooh, we don't want it too bright. So... All right. So we got dark. Let's hit enter. Dark and all the way to six. Oh, that's bright. So we want we want like a one. And I'm just going to change that on my on my phone as well. Okay. So I think I think we've done it. We just uh, bring the light way down and lock it. There we go. Okay. So let's jump into the sequencing aspect of this keyboard to make sure you are not lost. I am going to do everything from the very beginning from scratch. So we'll turn it off first.